Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, today I'm going to have a look at uh, Oscilloscope and Analyzer. Uh, two apps from Onyx. And they're, they're really cool. They're really cool. Now if you're a, a sound designer or into synthesis, uh, Oscilloscope's a really good way to see how your sound is, is looking and how it's sounded. Now just out of shot here, I have uh, a, a Korg Monotribe plugged into channel into channel two here, and uh, Artoria's Mini Brute plugged into channel one, and I'm on direct monitor. And otherwise, you wouldn't hear anything. You'd see the signal, but you wouldn't hear anything. So <coughs> the first thing is that the micro brute. Now this is an os 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 oscilloscope that offers lots of different options. I'm no genius with oscilloscopes. I have no clue, but I really wanted to see what the sound was looking like and I, the microboot does not have a sine wave okay it doesn't it, in, in the oscillator it doesn't have a sine wave but you can see here if i hit this c that the uh, microboot is producing a sine wave and we're in channel one now we can increase the voltages going into channel one or the volume if you like by just pinching because i've got channel one selected there you go so that's more or less a, that's more or less a more or less a sine wave in the release here like that and in channel two here we have a monotribe uh, doing a square wave as you can see it's a pretty good square wave and if we go lower with the thing you can see that the wave spreads out higher closer together we add some modulation you see it modulates now if I control the resonance here, or the peak, you will see we start making adjustments to the wave, and if we bring the cut off up a bit and begin to get a square wave If we start to bring the resonance up, which is the peak, you'll see at the peak of the wave, That's very cool. So, what the micro brute does have is a um, sawtooth wave, a square wave, and that's like a triangular wave. So, if we just what we're going to do now is we're just going to have a look at the sawtooth wave. So, I'm just going to turn all the other uh, sections of the oscillator down so that we can see. Now, we should have there you go, a, a sawtooth wave. Now, what we can do is with the micro brute, turn the volume down a little bit. Just increase. We can start to add uh, ultrasaur, see what that does to the wave. Okay, let's turn that down. Let's add a square wave now. And let's add some pulse width modulation. And let's start to play with the cut off. Bringing in some uh, 
taking out the square wave and so cool so that's that's really interesting now let's have a look at the monotribe which is a bit more difficult to control here so let's start playing with the various waveforms out of it. So for the sound design, this is an absolutely brilliant, brilliant thing to have. Well, let's see what it sounds like with the like, sort of pattern running. And we can make adjustments as we go. It's quite quiet. So. So anyway, that's some of the cool things you can do with uh, the oscilloscopes. And you can calibrate stuff. And if you can plug external gear into it as well, you can calibrate it. And it has the F generator, X, Y modes, different colors. You can choose buffer sizes, cases, and, and, and the trigger trigger tool. So anyway, that's, that's the basic overview of uh, oscilloscope. You can select channel 1 or channel 2 to, to move around the screen and if you select channel one you move that around as well and we can adjust all sorts of different things like i said i'm no genius but i really enjoyed seeing the waveforms and how they were working with with uh, with the synths and stuff and it was really cool and it was really easy for me to be able to reduce a particular waveform that i liked of course if you've got another ipad or something you could plug that into it and run it through or if you've got the sts or synths and just just to see what the sound is doing okay so <clears throat> Um, next one we're going to take a quick look at is by the same same company. So let's go over here, and this one's called Analyzer. Now, probably you guys are going to find this probably more helpful. Uh, now, if we just hit uh, again a C on the um, micro brute, you can see. Okay, and we can set this that little switch down here that says peaks, and you can see that they're there. And you can set those to hold as well, so you can analyze where your maximum was. We'll have on an auto. Uh, you can speed the uh, the speed of the actual it's medium and this is slow. different sizes for the graph, octave range, so that's that part of it as well, I'm going to slow there, so let's just have, oh infinite, not even sure what that does, there you go, and we'll have it on fast, so it's a good way to analyse the frequencies that are happening in, you might have a particular thing that you don't want a frequency in and this is a good way to to get rid of it and actually see what it's doing now um we have a little settings button here and we have different we can have ftt plot okay so different scales 
Berlin here in decade. And we can generate test tones as well. So it's a bit loud, so we'll just turn that down a little bit. Okay. So that's white noise, I think. And then these are frequencies. Now these, again, for sound designers and people like that, these this, this type of thing is really, really handy. So we have 50 hertz, 100 hertz, 200, 500, okay. All the way up to 16,000. Okay, so if we go back to the Octave RTA, um, you can basically you see you've had a good basic look at Analyzer. I mean, these tools are like for sound designers and people who want to see what's going on with this now, but I think it's really interesting and something that we should all get, you know, we should all learn a little bit more about, I think. All right, guys, hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you later.